Hey guys, it's me again. Let's just see what's up. I don't know if I'm going to put a lot out today, but... Do you guys feel the attacks on your heart? Broken so bad. Somebody's broken. Anyway, do you guys feel the attacks on your heart? It's crazy, right? Let's just see. What are we talking about? I do. I've been listening to the Target Individual Scatter Frequency, the Dr. Virtual 7 uh, Hyper Game Theory. Um, you always know like when the attacks get like this, that there's something ready to come out or there's some kind of blessing or manifestation that's coming. Hedonist. I'm a lucky one. I do not deserve. So somebody could feel like they're really lucky to have you and they don't deserve you. There comes a time in a short life you turn it around. You guys, somebody turning their life around. It could be because of somebody they're with. You'll be a really good influence on somebody or you feel this way about somebody. Can you show me yes? Thank you. Can you show me now? I am the lucky one. I do not deserve. Is my channel named Philly Safa Goal? Thank you. Clear that, please. Is this hedonist in the uh, upright here? No. Who's trying? Who's pursuing pleasure to the detriment of their own health? Hmm. Who, who does things that are so egregious that they don't care if it affects their family or that their family winds up homeless or hungry or upset or crying or worried or whatever? Because that, that's what I feel like this is. How am I the lucky one? Somebody's luck may be running out. Oh my gosh, I don't know. These don't these don't shuffle right anymore. I think I gotta get another one of these. Because like the shit peeled off of them, like the actual protective cover. Because I use them a lot. Hedonist. Tell me about this hedonist. Tell me about this hedonist, please. Sagittarius. So there's a Sagittarius here. Um, who doesn't know when to stop. Definitely. If this isn't, uh, for, if for somebody it is a Sagittarius. So if you know you're dealing with a Sagittarius, there's no doubt a Sagittarius. Generally speaking, um, this could be you guys too, that maybe you were overindulging in some things and you found balance with this shit here. A Sagittarius. What do you secretly hate about your significant other? Uh-oh. Oh, there could be a Sagittarius that either works too much or they are cheating at work. They could, they, my wife, they're talking about a wife. I feel like there was a Sagittarius who doesn't love their wife, doesn't like their wife. That's what I feel like this is. Frustrated. Somebody's frustrated. Yeah, look, a third part. <laughs> you can't fuck. I'm telling you, every time I listen to whatever it is on the radio, it doesn't matter if it's them talking about something, if it's a commercial, if it's if it's music. There's constant messages flowing through every portal all day if you're aware of them and, and you have the ability to pick them up. There's a Sagittarius who's cheating at work because they don't like their wife. They can't stand their wife. They could be partying and going to work. I feel like this Sagittarius is a business owner or they like they are the manager or they are the owner and and they could be running this business their business could be be getting affected by this actually. Yeah, somebody's getting karma for this though. Tell me more about this please. Brian, somebody's name could be Brian. Tell me more. Look, Gemini, they could be cheating with a Gemini here. Um, so there's a Sag cheating at work. 
with a Gemini. This is a this is like a, a specific message here. I think this wife, like it's like nagging, but they have a reason to nag though. <laughs> they they could yeah they're in a relationship with a Gemini. <laughs> Look okay. Someone is on you about something. So I feel like the wife of this Sagittarius is on this person. They could be constantly asking them questions. Where are you going? Let me see your phone. I drove by your work. That this person could travel for work too. And it's making it even more difficult. If they're not if they're not having an, um, an affair with a Gemini, I think... Um, Hold on. That's what this is, though. They're in a they're in a relationship with a Gemini, Dark Knight of the Soul. So, uh, you know, it's funny because I mean, fight at the family barbecue. There could have been a fight at a family function. I call them family dysfunctions because there's I don't know one functioning family, and and I'm realizing that wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> you feel me? Um, but I I think whoever this person is. Because when I went through the dark night of the soul, this is when a lot of things came out. Truth came out. So this person's dark night of the soul could possibly be, and the wife's could be, is that this person has been, is like a serial cheater. And that they've been cheating. Poss they, could, they could have a business partnership. This could be somebody that they are in partners with at this job as well. Secretly secretly hate about yeah they don't want to be married anymore but i i think it would it's like cheaper to keep her kind of shit mm -hmm. this person yeah, a truck driver so this person travels for work i mean shit it could be a truck driver or this person just isn't home a lot all right let me see tell me more Master Alchemist. Now, with this Master Alchemist, I think, with the Dark Knight of the Soul, can't stand that you laugh. They have nothing to laugh about. These people need mental help is on the bottom here. Master Alchemist. So you went through the dark night of the soul and you mastered it. You know, M Master Alchemist, we, we breeze through that shit and you make it look easy. This could have been somebody that was maybe mocking you for going through the dark night of the soul. Somebody that didn't help you, didn't assist you. They could have been, you know, talking shit, talking smack and saying that it was other things that you were going through. They could have said that you were crazy and that you needed mental help. Now somebody else is going through the dark night of the soul. How are you are connected? You could be connected to the this husband or the wife in some way. Because what happened was for a lot of us that were going through the dark night of the soul, we didn't even know what it was. So we can't really expect the people that were near us to know what it was, but they were the characters are always being tested every single day in life. And a lot of their characters were shitty and they failed. They were being tested on it. Were they going to assist you? Were they going to give you like, like you, an ear at least like to talk about what you were going through, but you had people literally trying to destroy you while you were going through the dark night of the soul. And that's just not all right. So, and that's period. That's it. There is no other way. That's it. You don't take advantage of somebody who's going through a really difficult time. Now somebody else is going through this. And I feel like what triggered this dark night of the soul was them finding out that their husband or wife right is has been cheating at work that's that's what this is yeah someone's like well that's all something someone's so they probably got married for um yeah somebody they got married for whatever a pregnancy i just saw the ace of pentacles this could have been a couple that got married because they were pregnant did they really want to get married they played it like they did they, they damn sure put up a good front I feel like someone lied about a pregnancy. Yeah, someone someone um, intuitively knows that, that there's a child that isn't theirs, I think, too. Tell me more about this. 
there, I feel like somebody knows that this situation, there's got to be a, a death to this situation or that it's going to be over soon. Somebody's anticipating. Scorpio, Gemini, Sagittarius are the majors I have here. But you went through this dark night of the soul with the death and you stood your ground all by yourself. Because you're a ma master alchemist. And, and you got an alcoholic. Somebody's an alcoholic as well. Somebody, you found balance. So you also found balance with the temperance card. Possibly um, with addictions. With uh, drinking. Somebody's realizing, oh man, what they went through was not easy. No, it wasn't. You made it look easy. Didn't I say this? We've been saying this a lot. Wait till these people go through the dark night of the soul. Everybody's going to eventually go through this. Uh, if not this lifetime, it's going to be next lifetime. And it's not easy, man. I mean, literally for a lot of people, they didn't make it. And this was the outcome for them. Some people, they wanted this. They were like, I want to die 11-11, you know, but man, that may have been you. You may have thought that you died. For some of you, you did die and you came back, you know, and you're stronger now than you were before. Yeah. And, and I feel like these people uh, were laughing at you with the full card and they walked away from you. Now these people are going, yeah, they cut you out, they blocked you out. And, and I think that you had to do this shit on your own and you did. It's not an easy thing to go through the dark night of soul on your own, okay? Yeah. You offered these people. I think now the funny thing is, is like, ha, ah, they look like fools because they could be taking advice from you, especially if you documented your journey. They could be taking advice from you. Like um, if you talk about it, somebody may actually ask you for advice. I feel like also her ugly cry. Somebody could think that their wife has an ugly cry. Yeah, okay, so here's another thing, right? Somebody somebody changed after they got married with the death card. They they changed. This transformation change. And I somebody knows that somebody's different, okay? Now Somebody took a chance and offered their love to somebody else. Yeah, possibly a Scorpio or somebody's realizing this though. I offered my love to 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 destruction. Somebody that's there's something there's some kind of realization here. Can't. Yeah, so there's a nag of, of a wife here somewhere. There's a nag. Look, somebody's like, I'm tired. Now, there could also be a child that's that's not this person's with the... So, okay. Did somebody get married because they were pregnant and they jumped into a marriage? Yeah. Somebody jumped into a marriage... They weren't ready. They did it because someone was pregnant. They thought they were doing the right thing. But they weren't ready to get married. And now there's like uh, third party situations happening. And there's a possibility that somebody could find out that this child that they got married for is not even theirs. Yeah. I feel bad if I feel bad. He's saying, I don't know, man. Somebody's finding out some truth about the person they're married to, which is, is kick, it's like kickstarting the dark night of the soul. You're not safe. Somebody could feel like they're not safe with the person that they're with. Or you, listen, how about this? Stole from you. How about this? This is another thing, okay? You told people while you were going, for somebody, you told people that you weren't safe. You were going through a dark night of the soul and you could have had people trying to attack you and even do worse to you. Okay. You told people, I don't feel safe. I'm not safe. And they stole from you. Oh my God. So you could have been not safe to the point where like you didn't even know where you were going to live. 
and whatever you had, somebody stole from you and you were in a situation that was dangerous anyway. Do you know the karma that comes with some shit like this? This is karma. So somebody else now is in the dark night of the soul, but the shit that they're finding out, the secrets that are coming out, um, I don't think they can handle them the way that every we all handle the dark night of the soul. I just don't really feel like that's... It, it's some supernatural shit, okay? I, I'm more valuable. Yeah. Never experience real love in their life. Inability to love. Uh, uh, whoever they're married to. It could be one of these people or both of these people. I don't think they've, they've uh, either one of them to tell you the truth. So because it seems like they got married for a pregnancy. So when you marry for that, there is no love there. Okay. Currently talks more about you than, than their own selves. As they relive every episode, so somebody has Groundhog Day, they're reliving something. They could be reliving like things that were told to them when they got married, like about this pregnancy. Because I really do feel like there was a lies that this this marriage was based on lies and just you know false falsehood. You feel me? So Gemini, or it's just this could be a sibling of yours. Yeah, they, so these people argue, okay? These people, th th this marriage, it's a marriage. I'm telling you, it's two people here arguing constantly, but they're talking more about you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fighting possibly, or they're arguing. Uh, hold on, I want to see something here. King of Cups. Tell me about this King of Cups with this with this chaos and arguing shit. While these people are arguing and fighting, I don't even think this King of Cups matters what, what sign they are. While these people are arguing and fighting, I feel like this is you over here with somebody that you love that you guys have equal give and take. That's what I feel like this is, man. This is like crazy. This is how it goes though. 1717, huh? Yeah, 1717. So this is you, I feel like. I feel like you have love. You guys balance out. You give love, you get get love. For, for those of you who are here in a relationship and it matters because they have the wrong guy. Uh-oh. And, and these people are fighting in a marriage here. So there's betrayal, lies, fighting, and all kinds of other shit happening. But, but they talk more about you um, than their own selves. Yes, okay. What are they talking about? Were these like big and you? Leo energy. This could be, you could have a Leo that you have reciprocity with. Put one on this five of wands. I was king. Tell me about this, this, why is this here, this five of wands? You want me dead? Oh boy. Yeah, it's like, I feel like these people are, are fighting because they know, they know something. What is it that they're anticipating? What, what are they into? Karma. <laughs> okay. Karma. This is, I feel like this could be a sister, a mother, or an aunt or something. There, there's a, a, there's, or this is their wife. They're arguing and fighting with this wife. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and, and an earth sign here. There could definitely be an earth sign and a fire sign that are arguing and fighting. And it's because they know it's because they're getting karma. Why is this karma here? The kind of man that you want in the end. I tried so hard to be your man. This is a marriage that just wasn't going to work from the start. It's a karmic marriage. I think both of these people know that it was a karmic marriage and it was never meant to last. 19 all. What makes it a karmic marriage? Somebody lying about a pregnancy. Them not building it on a firm foundation. Karmic in nature. It wasn't solid. It wasn't equal give and take. There was no love on both sides. There was deceit. There was lies. There was bullshit. That, that's karmic to me, okay? So neither one of these people I don't feel like ever really, because I'm getting like superficial. These people could be superficial. 
and superficial people don't know how to love and they don't experience love. So they, they think material things is love and status is love and whatever they portray on the outside is love. But then when it gets down to it, when the dark night of the soul hits them, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something about the dark night of the soul, okay? It's rough. It's exactly how dark it sounds. So you went through it. At some point, you weren't safe and people stole from you while you were in a dangerous situation. I don't know if it, these people are connected to that or these are just, this is somebody that you thought was going to be there for you when you told them this. It's different for every, it's nine o'clock exactly. So I think that's what it is and it just lit up. So whoever this person is, whether you know the husband or the wife or both, somehow these people are connected to you if you resonate with this where you told them, I'm not safe. I'm going through the dark night of the soul. Like, I don't know what's happening. And you could have told them that people stole from you, whatever it is. This is, this sounds like karma. It sounds like karma for somebody not one, not, um, like knowing somebody was in a really dark, bad place and, and just kind of turning their backs, turning their back on you. When you learn a lesson, you receive the blessing. Mm. Uh, I guess the lesson here was what you don't turn your back on somebody. Is this a relative of yours? Karmic cycle complete. That's for you guys. Somebody's nervous though. They're nervous and they're paranoid. You come from Egyptian descent. So you completed a karmic cycle, which is not an easy thing to do as well. The dark night of the soul, uh, completing karmic cycles. It, it's, you know, you, you learned your lesson and maybe it's time now for the people who were shunning you and pointing fingers at you and whispering and pss, pss, look at they're going through like they're losing their mind. Now this is happening to other people. So you probably set the bar for some shit and it's like what the irony, right? Especially if you're the black sheep or the scapegoat, like you wind up, you wind up setting the bar for like how you go through some dark shit like that, right? Disrespected ancestor, somebody's landlord or property managers getting it because they, they disrespected. Did your property manager disrespect your ancestors? You come from Egyptian descent. Let me tell you something about those Egyptian ancestors, boy. They don't play. Okay. So with this karmic cycle complete with your landlord, there could be something that happened with your landlord that you don't even know. They could be hiding this shit. I want to get some letters. Hmm. Takes a lot of power though. Somebody thought they had power and your ancestors are like, bitch, we'll show you power. P, P, D, police department. Yep. This is that same shit that came out yesterday with somebody's landlord being an informant. This person could have actually filed a false police report. You're, for somebody, your landlord did this, this shit, man. This could be initials for you. To put it how it fits. Tell me about this uh, landlord disrespected ancestors. When I come around. Yeah, this person wanted revenge. So I feel like with the PD, they filed a false police report. This is the ones that were working with the police. The punk, okay? Could, you could be a Taurus, or they are a Taurus. Put how it fits. I'm a user and the loser. Yeah, it's a loser. Your property manager is a loser. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Yeah, they're getting karma. I, I, they, 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 I wish I didn't, though. I feel like um, this person never really... This is like giving me the energy of like karma for what? For filing a false police report for disrespecting somebody's ancestors. Pop, I'm guessing this is for trying to get you thrown out because with landlord and police report and PD and disrespected ancestors and you come from Egyptian descent, they tried to put somebody of royalty out on the street. Okay. Royalty comes in all different shapes and forms. A lot of us, like we had our shit taken from us and that's why some of us are struggling. And when people hear royalty, they laugh at the shit and your ancestors are like, let me show you some laughs. He, 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 bitch. <laughs> yeah, they're getting karma. They regret doing this. They regret coming after you. This person thought that they uh, were uh, exempt from getting karma as well. Tell me more. Yeah, look, for trying to mess with your stability too. Yeah, look, look, did you hear that beat? Thinking that they had control. 
They they thought that they control whether or not you you had your stability. Come on, man, get out of here. When I come around. So this, I don't know, for some of you, um, this landlord was connected to people who stole from you. Tell me more. Scapegoat. Tried to scapegoat you in some shit. That's a karmic cycle complete. We don't get scapegoated or triangulated or we, we don't get put in anything that we don't put ourselves in. And look, they tried to scapegoat you into trafficking drugs and they told, they uh, yo, what a piece of shit fucking property manager somebody has here. They tried to scapegoat somebody and saying that they were trafficking drugs and they lied to the police department here. They were, and for some of these assholes, they were working with a dirty cop. This king of swords... Could be uh, an investigator or somebody that figured this shit out. Now, tell me about this scapegoat with this trafficking drugs, you piece of crud shit. I can't stand people like this. Sticks and stones will break my bones. So this person talked a lot of shit on you, but you don't care. This could be a child too, like a big a big kid. Sticks and stones will break my bones like that. Like that's what I'm getting from this too. It's like sticks and stones will break my bones. Like a, just a fucking big kid in in a male body. Yeah, look, this is what they were investing in, reaping what they sowed. Trying to get you caught up in some shit here. Somebody was trying to get you caught or whoever you are, right? A Leo possibly, or they were trying to get a Leo caught up in some shit or this, this month there's, there's the, there's the sun and the strength card. So there's definitely a Leo here somehow. Somebody was trying to get somebody caught up in some drug trafficking and, um, how, how would you even do this? Yeah. But I'll tell you, inflamed became inflamed. Your ancestors were hot. Your, somebody's ancestors handled some shit here. If this karmic cycle is complete, I'm, I'm going to tell you something happened with this landlord or this property manager that you may not even know, but you you may find out, okay? You may find out. Somebody may be having problems with their gallbladder. Like they could be having kidney problems or, or the health issues could actually be, yes, Somebody's having health issues because of the disrespect um, on a, ch I'm guessing somebody who was chosen um, that has ancestors that don't play. Okay. You don't even have to be chosen. You're just somebody where your ancestors, um, when you ask them to handle some shit, like I ask my ancestors, handle my enemies. Um, they're handling my enemies and I'm so grateful for them. It, it, they're handling my enemies in ways that I never could have even thought of. Okay. You are a complete mystery to these people. This comes out a lot. I feel like these people are scared to death. If you're that scared to death, then stop doing shit. And, and you know, I feel like this. When these people are nervous, because there's still a part of them that's inside of there, even when they get taken over by these like lower level entities, right? They're still in there. They're, that's the nervousness. But they don't. they're too weak to fight these entities. They're not like you. Okay? And at this point... The entities know that your ancestors will rock their shit. They want to take these people's souls. If they can't get yours, they're taking theirs. We talked about this before. They just fell into the same trap they thought they were setting for you. Graveyard dirt. Huh. Your, was your, was your, let me ask you something. Was somebody's landlord involved in messing with some graveyard dirt? Hmm. Innocent. Somebody playing innocent. Uh, uh, listen, either someone said you were messing with graveyard dirt and you're innocent, tried to get you fired. So somebody was doing necromancy on trying to get you fired, trying to get you kicked out. That shit backfired in a bad way. That shit is going, all oh, coming back to me now. You don't like it now? What you guys don't like when you, when you get to see... Tried to get somebody possibly with blonde hair fired, or this is the person that tried to do it, putting out bits. Somebody was trying to Google some shit and find, get background checks and find cause and effect. Look, so, oh, <laughs> somebody's landlord or property manager, if they didn't get fired, they're about to. Cause and effect. You tried to get somebody fired who's innocent, bitch. Cause and effect. There's somebody's landlord's about to be fired. I think that they may have already been fired, actually. I feel like somebody was demoted or they were warned, and but there was an investigation going on, so they had to keep this motherfucker around.
Yeah, that's what's happening here. I, I think that uh, somebody's property manager is about to get the X. And this is what happens when you come for somebody that you don't know, fool. You feel me? Somebody's mask is off. Somebody's a storyteller, a bullshitter, period. They lied and tried to get somebody fired here. You piece of shit. What a piece of fucking shit here. They look, they lied. They told a whole story, making up tales that harm others. They, I, yo, get out of here with this. Look, they're, they're worried now. They're nervous. Redneck news. Look, look, look. Hmm. Somebody's worried about, about the justice system here coming to their home. A Leo, possibly. They're worried about the justice system because I feel like it's, it come, it's coming out. Greedy bastard. Somebody's greed's got them all paranoid now. Uh. Queen of Pentacles. This could be you, that you're happy and that you're content. You put boundaries up or you protected yourself because maybe you knew that somebody was trying to get you caught up with the justice system. So instead, they, they made, this is giving me smear campaign, okay? That's what this is. Somebody, somebody like, um, like, it's almost like you knew, right? You knew, This is also addictions. You put boundaries up with, with partying because you knew somebody was trying to either record you or set you up. 911, look, you can't make it the fuck up. You're a piece of shit. Let's call this out. Any property managers that tried to get somebody who doesn't deserve it put on the street, uh, they're going to be on the street. I don't really care what kind of family you got. I don't care if you got kids or not because you didn't give a shit whether everybody else had kids. So not only are you going to be physically ill, you're going to be jobless and homeless because you're already heartless. Okay. You're already soulless from what it looks like. So what's a few more shit to take? Cause you're not worth a damn when you do some shit like this. So whoever your property managers are that are doing this to you, they cursed them themselves. Look at that. They cursed themselves coming for you. Your ancestors aren't playing with these punks, okay? I don't even want to make this long. This shit agitates the fuck out of me. I'm not even going to lie. Detective is on your side. Well, look at you. So the detective knows that your landlord, for somebody here, this motherfucker knows, like, this punk is trying to put this person or these people in the street. And it ain't going to happen. That's amazing. Thank you, detective. Let's thank the detectives out loud, the ones that are actually doing the right thing and they're not working for the ops, okay? Uh, we appreciate you. Hates his own mother. This is one of those misogynists. Every time I see the hates his own mother card, I know that we're dealing with a misogynist. That's why they came after the Queen of Pentacles, okay? You have a problem with their mummy. You guys have problems with your mummies. Yes, you do. 3333. Handle your shit and stop coming after strong women, bitch. People think twice now before they come for you. Hmm? There's something happening around you that you don't realize because these people are probably don't want to face you. How when's the last time you saw your property manager? I can't tell you the last time I saw that motherfucker here. Okay. <laughs> um, so there's something happening with the property managers and people who were trying to get somebody else put out that didn't deserve it. I think there's, there's, gossip happening where it's like don't mess with this one it seems like this one fell because i feel like there's a lot of people who got locked up or got sick and some passed away uh that you don't even realize were connected to people trying to put you on the street and it's like people are starting to put two and two together now and they're like man there's something up it maybe we need to fall back i told you this is how we stop the shit Okay? This is why we were put there and placed in these situations to teach people lessons. And usually Divine Feminine, I said this before, it's because there's misogynistic men that thought you were easy prey, bitch. And you're speaking up and what you're doing is for all the women that were prey for these pieces of shit. Some of these women aren't here anymore. And I hope. Panic. 
going out is gone and saying, yeah, these people are nuts. It's like, what did you, what did you think was going to happen? You are a trap when you're put in situations like this. So, you know, maybe some of you are like, why am I still here? Why is nothing changing? It's because maybe the universe wants you to experience what this person's karma or these people's karma is going to be. Some of you are going to witness it. Some of you are going to witness people get locked up. You're going to witness them pass away. You're going to see them, you know, leave and they're going to be forced to, some of them feel like they're going to be forced to have to ask for your forgiveness because they're not sure, like I said, how bad this karma is going to get. Okay. I'm leaving it there. We're still not going anywhere. Anybody trying to put somebody on the street and they said, um, I'm your lesson learner. I'm here to tell you that you don't get to do this shit, especially if you're a female 35, 35, they're all going to fall one by one. They didn't want to believe you at first. They're being forced to believe you. Your ancestors are not playing with these people. Neither is the universe. I love you guys. We're not going anywhere. Tia.